Good morning. Today what we're going to demonstrate is the proper use of Emma and the iPad to take a picture of a patient's lesion so that it can be attached to their record in addition to the triangulation coordinates so that future reference will be able to uh, be able to more accurately identify the site after the biopsy has healed. Um, the first step is going to be to make sure that the version of Emma you're using is completely updated and if you haven't already we ask that you do so and you check by looking at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and it should read 3.0.0.6.4 parentheses 3.0.0.6.x close parentheses so once you've updated and you have the current version of Emma you can then go ahead and log in, which Caitlin is demonstrating right here. And before she does her password, I'm just going to move it to, so you can't see. As you see, she's now logging in to the main screen. And at this point, she's going to pull up a patient. She's going to use my test patient for this demonstration. and once she has the main screen she's going to go to the upper right hand corner and press new visit put in the parameters which we're going to skip at this point and now you're at the familiar uh, visit home screen um, we're just going to jump straight to going into the uh, exam room by pressing the enter exam room button and again the familiar screen comes up with the body picker. Notice at the top of the window where the body picker is located is an icon that looks like a camera and says camera. So Caitlin is going to touch the icon and it's going to open up a shutter which now gives her a camera. So what Caitlin is going to do is she's going to look down at our subject's arm which First I'm going to show you the arm. Um, the picture should be wide enough that you can see the anatomic landmarks, in this case the antecubital fossa, and the hand, the palm, the wrist, and so on. Um, because if, as you see in Caitlin's version right here, you can be too close and not be able to have an idea where on the extremity or the body the uh, lesion is located. So, Caitlin, if you would swing around a little bit so that you can take the picture from an angle that gives you back out a little further, a little further, there you go. So here you have a full shot of the right upper extremity. We've placed a ruler next to the lesion so that the scale of the lesion um, can also be estimated. Now to take the picture, Caitlin is going to hit the camera at the bottom of the screen. Shutter snapped. On the left hand side of the picture is a retake button if you don't like the way the picture looks. On the right hand side is a use button. So if we're happy with the way the picture came out, we'll hit the use button and this screen gives you a chance to put a title on the image if you want otherwise it'll just save it by the date and then there's feedback that lets you know that the picture was saved now the picture has not been completely saved it hasn't been attached to the record until you leave the exam room so you have to remember to hit the save visit note button at the bottom right hand side which again takes you back to the conditions which we can skip or save at this point and when we go back to the patient's screen we notice that now in the attachments box there's today's date and time and Caitlin why don't you go ahead and tap on that on the date and time the, the file name the file name file. I guess it's that. Okay. So you open up the attachment box and that gives you a chance to open the file name. And there what you see is the picture is appearing and it is now stored as an attachment 
in the record of the patient associated with that particular visit. Um, so we can go ahead and close that out. If we wanted to take, let's say, a second picture, we would repeat the process going back into the virtual exam room, touching the icon of the camera. And Kaylin, why don't you take a close-up this time of the lesion where we can clearly see the ruler. Okay. All right. You want to retake it? Okay, go ahead. You like that one better? Okay, so use. All right, and you can enter close up or you can just save it. Feedback, good. And now when you leave the room, okay, so if we go back to the regular screen, we can now see that there are two attachments and again by opening the attachments box by touching the right lower corner of the attachments box we now see that there are two pictures associated with this visit and we can open either one and here we have the close-up view loading Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, you do it from within the screen where you have the body picker, just like uh, you would um, any other um, uh, lesion that you're going to be marking. And it's just this extra step of taking a picture for saving uh, for later use.